Hey guys, what I want to do right now is give you a quick update on these uh, moringa trees and then we'll go take a look at the uh, hydroponic lettuce over there. Uh, these are the two that I put in the tubs. The one on the right had the goat manure added to it. The one on the left was just a regular uh, pot mix. The plant on the right side is the one about three weeks ago that I cut the top out of. And as you can see, it's already uh, caught up with the one on the left side. So what I'm going to do is uh, prune the one on the left right now. These things are just getting a little bit too big and I need to make them bush out. Looking at this one right here, you can see how well it did after I topped it and started bushing out there real good. That's what I'm going to try to make the other one do. You can see how well this one is done since I topped it. I cut it right in here and then the next shoot just came out. Kept right on going up straight. Not exactly what I was looking for, but what I wanted was the growth to come out from the side. And I got some more side shoots coming. This one down below it, little smaller ones down here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and uh, top this one again and then cut the one next to it. Because I'm not trying to grow a 20 foot tall tree in here. I'm trying to get them to more uh, like a bush type. There you go. Now that's more manageable right there. This is the three that I have growing in the other greenhouse that I planted in ground. And I made sure I put plenty of goat manure in there. They've done extremely well. Now this is the one right here that at one time had the little uh, seed pods on it. All of those fell off. Uh, I don't know what happened to them, but they're gone anyway. So what I'm going to do, it's starting to flower again. I'm going to come in here and just cut this thing right there. Yeah, Y'all might have seen the video that uh, Dale did, Media Maker 2000. He had a moringa tree about this tall that he had pruned extensively, kept it small, uh, bushy-like. I think that was without a doubt the prettiest moringa I had ever seen. So I think one of the biggest keys to grow a moringa is to prune them early and often before they get this long lanky stem on them. As you see I got strings holding these things up. If I took the strings off they're, uh, they kind of get top heavy and they just be flopping in the breeze. So I'm going to come down here and uh, do the same thing. Just cut that one. Come over here to the other side. Same thing, not going to hurt them, I just want everything to bush out. Again, that looks a whole lot more manageable right there, as opposed to something just coming on up there trying to get six, eight foot tall. Just keep them short, keep them pruned, and I think they'll be better off. Here's all of my cuttings right here where I cut the tops out of the trees. What I'm going to do is uh, pick the leaves off of these and try to save just the tips and see if I can get these things to root. The one that I cut a few weeks ago, I put it in a vase of water with the root and hormone and it's still in that vase of water. The top of it, nice and green, it perks up every day, uh, but it still has not made any roots. So I'm going to try something a little bit different with these right here, see if I can get these things to root. And here's a real quick look at the lettuce. Today is Friday, September 21st. This is what the lettuce pak choy uh, looked like September 10th, about 11 days ago. They really kicked it in gear and coming on pretty fast right now. I was a little bit concerned about this butterhead lettuce being as how it had such long stems, but it pretty much did what uh, I had hoped it would do, kind of laid on the rails long enough for the stems to thicken up and now those heads are really starting to tighten up like they should. In my first run back in the late spring, I had some of this stuff right here that was about as big as a basketball, just huge heads of uh, loose leaf lettuce. And so I got about uh, 13, 14 more days, something like that, before my 30 days would be up. So we'll see if I can do it again. The pak choy, if you notice, I got some red cups up under there. What was happening with some of those longer stems, they couldn't quite stand up on their own. So I improvised a little bit and just put those red cups around them. The smaller plants, I was able to uh, cut the bottom out of the cup and put it right over the top. And some of the ones that were a little bit larger, I just had to slit down the sides of it, cut the bottom off and just wrap it around and it fit right down inside of that neck cup nice and neat, uh, nice and snug too, and they have come on nicely. I had a question on the manifold, and this is really simple. I'm gonna do it without taking the uh, covers off of it right here. These things are basically, the end caps are just silicone right around here and up about halfway, two thirds, something like that. You don't need to put silicone up here. Uh, there ain't no pressure on this anyway. You're just trying to keep the water from leaking out. And then whenever you finish your setup, uh, you can just pop that cap off, clean the silicone out, clean everything up and put it back together and glue it again. 
But inside here, you've got a male adapter coming down through the inside with an O-ring and then you go to the female, screw that up nice and tight and that gives you a watertight seal right here. Come on down, I've got half inch and then I went to inch and a quarter right here. I couldn't find whatever store I was at, a inch and a quarter to a half inch reducer. So what I did, I think I've got inch and a quarter to one inch and then one inch to one half right here. That allows me to uh, step it up and put everything together. All three pretty much the same way, just maybe different brand uh, fittings right here. Real simple to put together. Well guys, it doesn't get much easier than this right here. Just put your nutrient mix in the water. I'll go ahead and put your sealants in there, turn your pump on, make sure it's aerated, and let her rip. Nice and simple, no guesswork to it. Just uh, turn it on and let the plants do their thing. They will respond if you have the right nutrient formula in there. As I said, this is gonna be quick right here. About two more weeks, all of this will be done, should be. I've got a lot more seedlings coming on to come back and replace these with real quick and we'll start another run. So y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.